Question 5.1, we're given that sine 23 is equal to root k. So if we just have a look at our cost diagram, C, A, S, T, you'll notice that 203, that is definitely going to be in our third quadrant, everybody. So go 0, 90, 180, and 270, ending off at 360. Now, sine is negative in this quadrant, so that's just going to be a negative sine 23, and that is going to be equal to negative root k. So nice, easy question to start things off. 5.1.2, cos 23. Now, when looking at cos 23, we'll need to calculate an x value here. So let's draw up our little Cartesian plane, our cos diagram, 23 degrees. Oopsie. And sine has the trig ratio of y over r. So that means our y value is going to be root k. Our r value, which is our, our hypotenuse, is going to be 1. So let's do a bit of Pythag. So x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Our x squared value is what we're looking for. y squared is just going to be root k squared. So root k times root k is just going to be k. And all of that is going to be equal to 1. So x squared is equal to 1 minus k. We're going to need to read, root both sides. So it becomes a plus minus 1 minus k. And as you can see here, x is on the positive side. So we're just going to take the positive value. So it's just going to be 1 minus k. Okay, cos 23. It has the ratio of x over r. Sine has the ratio of y over r. Tan would have the ratio of y over x. It's coming from Sokotoa, okay, just in case you were battling with it. Okay, so in other words, cos 23 is just going to be equal to root... 1 minus k over 1, because that's what our radius was. So that was question 5.1.2. Tan negative 23. If I just change the color quickly in question 5.1.3, tan negative 23 is equal to just, well, negative tan 23 if we were to write it. And our tan identity is negative sine 23 over cos 23. And we know that sine 23 is equal to root k, that's been given in the question. And we know that cos is x over r, our r value is just 1, so that's going to be root 1 minus k. That's going to be in our denominator. So that is the answer. Alternatively, you can just write it with one big fat root if that looks a bit ugly for you. So negative root k over 1 minus k. And that's it. That's another way to write it. Easy question.